Hey, I'm Dan. Yeah, you're probably wondering why I'm tied up to a chair and all. Well, it's a pretty standard story as far as being tied up to chair stories go. Unless it's for like a sex stuff kind of thing. Yeah, this isn't a sex stuff kind of tying. I don't think. Okay, so what happened, it was just a regular, normal run in the bill. Actually, you know what, just freeze. Uh, yeah, actually, let's, let's take it back a bit, all right? It's just gonna help you get on my side of the story. It's a better story this way, yeah. So <laughs> so this is Olivia. She is better looking than me and just is a much better person in general. You know what I mean? Oh my god. They accepted my application to foster that dog. Look how cute. Oh honey, we're gonna be dog parents. Dog parents? Mm-hmm. Like what a fucking bitch. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But like seriously. Last one, you want it? No, you have it. No, you have it. No, you have no, it. No, you have it. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that was us. We were annoying, but we were happy. So we got a house, a car, and a dog. Yeah, you know, like the usual crap that couples do. I mean, things were going pretty good for a little while. Oh shit, this guy's about to hit me in the face. Mm. Oh, come on, I like this shirt. Oh, that's a big boy. Okay, sorry. Where was I? House car dog. Naturally, it all became a bit too much for me. I had to slam on the brakes. Later, my therapist will tell me it's a fear of abandonment. Oh, she would if I didn't stop seeing her after one visit. Liv, honey, look, I know this is really hard and challenging, but I... I think it's for the best. And, and hey, it's just the trial separation. Peanut? I'd say it's more of a fear of commitment, but what do I know? Oh my God, I forget what being single is like. Dang kind of sucks. You know what? I forgot that people suck. No, I, and by the way, don't don't sit there and just be like, oh, you know what, damn, people don't suck because save the earth, fucking global warming bullshit. I got news for you, all right? You're probably the one that sucks. No, I'm serious. Look at you. Look at me. I got nothing left. Oh, I got a match. Nice. Well, that was nothing. I mean, it wasn't awkward first time sex or passionate first time sex. It was, I wasn't quick on the draw or anything. I was fine. It was just, Yeah, it was just nothing. Okay, so you got that, right? House, car, dog, we split up, I met someone, nothing sex. So far, I've done nothing wrong, right? But, <laughs> oh, she is not taking it slow. Well. Babe, it's not that big a deal if we were on a break. Oh, who are you, fucking Ross? But baby, hold on, whoa, whoa, hold on, calm down, all right? Now listen to this. She meant nothing to me, all right? Now, now you're the first person that I wanted to tell after we had sex. Think about that. You're the first person I want to tell anything to. You're my baby. So you're telling me that you realized that you wanted to be with me because, well, you were cheating on me. I was the first person you wanted to tell. Are you fucking well, well, kidding me? I, God, uh, I really thought it was going to be a lot more romantic than that. Get the fuck out. Oh! I bet she's gonna blame me for this one. Okay, so yeah, that pretty much brings us up to speed. Oh, where's Olivia? No, 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 that, no, <laughs> no. He's been in there all day. I think he's got like IBS or something. 
No, Liv is just, she's tied up right behind me. Hey, right, baby. Baby? Babe. You know what's worse than having a home invader tie you up, beat you up because they mistook your address for a Russian gangster? Yeah, dyslexia. No, it's a real thing. No, no, no. What's worse is your girl giving the silent treatment. You know, one day this is just gonna be a funny story we tell our kids, eh? Baby. Baby. Yeah, Dan. It'll be a really funny story to tell our kids about how you left the door unlocked and we both got murdered in our own home. Yeah, no, I get it. It just, her logic doesn't really make any sense. I mean, we can't have kids if we got murdered, so there won't be any kids to have. She did say we are having our kids, so that's a step in the right direction, hmm? Okay, here we go again. So here's the thing about interrogations. It's like a parent making empty threats to a child. I mean, you have your standard. I'm going to ask you one last time, which, come on, it's never the last time. I'm going to ask you one last time. Where is Igor's money? I keep telling you, I don't know where- Oh! oh. Long answer. Oh. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, they're doing the bad cop, bad cop, babe. The only thing they haven't really tried yet is the countdown from three before they tell me to go to bed. Ooh. I'm gonna give it to the countdown of three to tell us where the money is, so I'm gonna blow yours and your pretty little bitch's head off. One. Two. Oh, okay. Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Wait, come on, guys. Guys, come on. Thank you. Thank you. Let me ask you something. If you and your girlfriend separated, and then you slept with someone else, but you told her right away, did you do anything wrong? No. Wait, did she... Did she think that it was... Completely done, or is this one of those trial separation things? What does that matter? It was a trial separation. We were supposed to work it out. Yeah, that, that, that's on you, pal. Oh, wait a second. Hold, hold your horses. What happens during separation? You know, people see other people, right? So trial separation would insinuate automatically that you get to do all the things of a separation. It's like the trial version of Photoshop. You download it, you get 10 days, full program, no questions asked. Yes, thank you. Oh, fuck off, Dan, you chapped ass little bitch. Well, I don't think that you can equate a human being with emotions to a computer program. What about uh, a drug trial? You know, that way you have to deal with all the side effects and the repercussions of your actions afterwards. Exactly. Thank you, uh, criminal. Petrov. Petrov. Dmitry. Okay. Wait, what did you call him? Petrov? Criminal. No, 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 not him, him. Chapped ass little bitch? Yes. No, his name. Okay, I feel like there's a quicker path to this destination. Dan. Your name is Dan. Yeah. Is... Is this not 112 Fake Street? No, this is 211 Fake Street. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, I... This is oh, Sorry, I... No, this is embarrassing. I, yeah, I... I uh, yeah. I'm, I know, I know. This is crushing. I mean, guys, my partner got the wrong address. He suffers from dyslexia. Oh, man. Oh, dude, dyslexia? That is tough. That is a tough cookie, man. That is like, a lot of people, that's like 5 to 10% of people. I heard even 17%. Maybe even a little higher. Yeah, maybe even higher. Yeah, um... Maybe don't let the guy with dyslexia be the navigator, just like you wouldn't let a colorblind person cut the green wire. Just say it. It's not handicap. It's handicapable. Okay. Can you untie us now? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Sorry. I'm sure, yeah. Sure. Great. Thank okay. You. Yeah. Petrov. Yeah. Dimitri. Yeah. Hey guys, no hard feelings, you know. Uh, I get it. It was really nice meeting you, by the way. Oh, and hey, good luck with Igor's money, yeah? Thanks. Thanks, man. And uh, hopefully you two can work this out. You All right. Know, we, yeah. uh... Thanks, boys. <laughs> what a night. What do you say we... Yeah, that's about right. <laughs>